Hi guys, what's up? This is Zura. In my previous video I talked uh, array filter, map and reduce methods. And I got comments that in order developers to better understand how they work, let's try to write our own version of these methods. I think that's a great idea and today I'm going to try to write my version of reduce method, which will help us to better understand how Reduce works behind. First of all, let's try to fully understand how existing native Reduce method works. So it's, the first argument of the Reduce method is a callback and the second optional argument is initial value. And the callback accepts four arguments, accumulator, current element, index and the whole array. Let's try how it works on, on an array uh, with elements from 1 to 5. And the initial value, uh, let's keep it for now. Also, I am printing each element in this callback function to see how many times the, actual, the callback is actually called. Okay, my callback is called four times. It's called for 2, 3, 4 and 5. And the total sum is 15, which is of course correct. Let's try to add initial value. Now my callback is executed five times and initial value is also added to the sum of all the elements. Okay, we understand that if initial value is provided, we need to execute our callback function five times. Uh, if it's not uh, provided, then we need to execute it four times. Okay, what is this inside the callback? This is not definitely an array. Instead, it's a global object, which is not printed because I'm in Node.js environment. Okay, do we have any more questions? Okay, let's try to pass here empty string and see what happens. Okay, it concatenated all numbers. Let's start writing our own version of reduce. First of all, I'm going to add uh, my reduce method in array prototype. I'm not going to write arrow function here as far as this binding is lost inside my arrow function. The callback and initial value. Oops. Okay, let's think about some edge cases. What happens when my callback, when my array is empty? Let's, let's see what happens here when my array is empty. Okay, we got empty string. Let's remove this initial value. Okay, I have an error. Reduce of an empty array with no initial value. Okay, that's that gives us information that we need to throw an error when the array is empty and initial value doesn't exist also. Okay, if this length is zero, or we can just write if this length doesn't exist, and initial value, okay, that's not quite true. Initial value may be uh, empty string or may it may be zero. This is not correct. We need to compare if initial value is undefined. If array length doesn't uh, exist and the initial value is undefined, we need to throw new error. Type error. Reduce. Let me just copy and paste the error. Okay, after this, let's try to use first of all on my array and see if we have the same error. Okay, great, we have the same error. Next, uh, let's try to run a native reduce method when array has only one element. Okay, we don't have an error, instead our, uh, to our total value is just one. But uh, the thing is that my callback was not executed. 
if I pass initial value, then my callback is executed. So some things are dependent on initial, initial value. So we need to check if initial value is not undefined. We need to do some things. First of all, we need to declare accumulator variable, which is passed to the callback as the first argument. What should be the initial value for accumulator? I think that's um, dependent on the past second argument initial value. If initial value is provided, then it should be the initial value for accumulator. If it's not provided, then the first element is considered as initial value. If initial value is not undefined, accumulator is initial value. If it's undefined, then accumulator is the first element of the array. After this, we need to iterate over the over the rest of the elements and call callback method on each of them. But depending on whether initial value is provided or not, we need to start our iteration from zero or one index. So I'm gonna declare also my index, which will be zero. Uh, and if my initial value uh, is not undefined, if my initial value is provided, then my index stays zero. If it's not provided, we take the first element as an accumulator and my index becomes one. To simplify my statement, I can just say that the initial value for accumulator is um, initial value also and just remove this, remove the else statement and negate my condition. If initial value is undefined, then accumulator is the first element and index is one. Otherwise, accumulator is initial value in, and index is zero. After this, I'm gonna iterate over my elements and call execute um, callback. As far as I have already declared index, I don't need to do anything in the first section of is if statement. I'm going to just compare if index is less than this length, index increases, and my accumulator is callback current accumulator, this at index index is the third argument and the whole array is the fourth argument. And after this we want to return accumulator. Let's see how my reduce works. Okay, for one it works. For two elements with initial value it returns 13. Without initial value Okay, it returns three and the callback is executed only one time. Let's pass uh, empty string as an initial value. Okay, my final result is accumulator. Final accumulator is now uh, 12 as a string because one and two were concatenated. What is this inside my reduce? As far as I am executing my callback as a standalone function, this will be the global object here also. If I want this to be the array in my Redis callback, uh, I have to modify my code and instead of writing like this, I need to execute call, uh, function prototype call method, passing the array as the first argument and this array will become this in my reduce and the rest of the arguments are just arguments of the callback. This is not an array as expected because we are using arrow function as a callback. And this keyword using inside arrow function doesn't work as inside normal function. This is taken from outside. You can, if you 
don't know how this keyword works exactly, you can check uh, my video about this, you can find the link in the description below. But for now, if we replace my arrow function with normal function, then my this will be a array. That's all. We have created our own my reduce method, uh, and I personally now better understand how reduce function works. What is the initial value for? Uh, that it accepts, the callback accepts four arguments. If I need index or the whole array at some point, um, I can accept it as a third and fourth arguments. I hope you liked also um, the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like for more videos. See you next time.